Hi and welcome to It's Almost Friday. Today I will show you something I will normally not show you and that is a garden that is a bit messy because I'm very busy repotting. I will uh, unpack two packages, one from China and another one from the local uh, garden center with a pump for my water bass in the Chukubai who has, uh, that is broken and uh, I have to repair that and let the water run again. I am spring cleaning it. I do that every spring anyways. So I just have to replace the pump that stopped working after five years in the, the office, so to speak. So let's start with the first thing first and unpack a small package I have uh, ordered in China and let's look at what's in there. I ordered this package a while ago and I honestly almost forgot I have done it. Uh, and uh, I'm excited to see the quality. It's the no rain for the garden. And uh, some of you who are interested in Japanese garden will say, okay, a no rain for the garden. Uh, I have to explain, a no rain is a traditional Japanese and Chinese curtain hanging in front of the entrance of a door into a restaurant. Uh, an office or a home uh, and it is normally not used as a garden design but I do it here I like to have it as a decoration in my bonsai garden and I hope I do not offend the Japanese garden fanatics out there using it maybe a little wrong this no rain I have ordered here I will use for something that I will build in the background I will show you that in a moment uh, a new office, uh, or not office, but yeah, mixture uh, of an office and a workshop for uh, the bonsai tutorials I'm doing here. So that will be built in the background. We will look at that mess in a moment, but first I would like to unpack this and see how it is. It was not very expensive. I bought it uh, at eBay. I have no idea about the quality, but it's the feel, it feels really good. And it is really good. This will be used maybe for the entrance of my new workshop. Let's have a look at the other one. With three fish. I'll hold it out in a better picture so you can see it. This I will use for the entrance at my new workshop when this is built this summer. I have just cleared the room behind me uh, that had a lot of big bushes and uh, now I'm having to prepare it, building a fence and then building the building so I can have a good workshop and uh, a storage room for some of the trees during the winter time as well. I have been busy repotting, especially the showhin today. And that's why I have put them together at the same space here. Different trees, Japanese maple, potentillas, ulmus, a corkbark elm, uh, a triton maple, and uh, a cotonaster, and then a root that I cut off from uh, the trident label to adjust the nebari I put in here. Let's see if it grows. If it doesn't, it doesn't matter. But there was a little stump here. So maybe it could be used for a small mama bonsai or mini bonsai later on. Let's see how that goes. But first of all, I have been repotting these trees. I do that every year for some of them growing very fast. And for others, it is every second or third year, depending on the growth, of course. Some of these trees are mature and I had uh, rearranged this uh, Acerberger rear airnum and that means I have repositioned a bit and, and as you can see it needs a new position, slightly a new position because I have turned it a little to uh, give it a better movement and a better appearance therefore I have to replace some of these branches but I would do that in summer when I defoliate it if it grows well, and then I can wire it at the same time. Now, 
This is the mess I'm talking about. I have cleared this room and you have to use your imagination a little bit now. I'm building a workshop going from this side to this side with the front out here so we can overview the garden. There will be new pedestals and new tables for bonsai around here. And I will have a room in here to film the tutorials we are doing every month. And I will use it as a workshop that Daisy will like to. There will be a good room there and I will build that throughout the summer. I hope I get some time to do that besides uh, caring for the trees. So here the Noreen will be in, at the entrance and I will, will have a look later and I will uh, show you the process of uh, this building as it progresses. Probably a bit slow because there's so many other things to do. Now I will go to the sugar pie, replace the pump so this can be running again, adding this nice sound of water in the bonsai garden. So first of all I have to, re to move this heavy stone. to move, remove some of the covering stones here and then I will take off the filtering piece of closing so we can get into the system. So here you can see how the chukubai is built up. I'll show this a little reverse. This is the new pump and don't judge me on this because this was not uh, fitting well for the sugar bio system. It's like it's sprinkled water or something. So I have to adjust a little and cheat. And I don't know how many times I have used wire to fix things that has nothing to do with bonsai. So. Let's see. This doesn't work. It did the last time, it was also made of home event, uh, like a home event system. Before I close this off, I will put the pump in the water to see if it, if it works before I do any final adjustments. So let's see if this works at all. As you can see, it's all messed up. I had to make a special solution with the wire and uh, some plastic to close the little gap between the tube here and the pump. Uh, it was simply not working and when the water was running then it was not coming out here because this was stuff so I had to dig it all up, clean the tube uh, and blow it uh, or clean it with a wire I'm sticking through and giving it a little massage so I really hope it will run now so I can rearrange this so we can get this uh, sugar pie looking quiet and peaceful and not as disturbed as this. So put on the electricity and hope everything works. The water is clean, stones are back in place. I had to cheat a little and uh, repair the tube with some plastic, clean it from algas and, and dirt from the winter, but now it's running okay again. And uh, although it wasn't made for the purpose of this little pump, 
I adjusted it with the use of some bonsai wire. That's not the thing it cannot be used for besides bonsai. Thank you for watching this little episode on a Thursday just before Friday and I wish you a nice weekend with your trees. Mm -hmm.